Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are on location in Las Vegas at Reclaim Secrets. Check it out. This is what we're going to work on today. Alright guys, so this table is going to be a donation for Firehouse 33 of Clark County, Nevada and uh, we're getting ready to carve it. We've done our printed out with rapid resizer. We're going to be doing a laser jet transfer with uh, lacquer thinner. So we've got 24 tiles we've taped together. We're going to flip this thing over and we're going to get after it. When doing the laser jet or the inkjet transfer, you want to be able to mirror it. So we use Rapid Resizer and I'll put a link up here in the right hand corner for a video on how we use it. Now the laser jet, you have to use lacquer thinner and I don't like that very much at all. The lacquer transfer did not work. I don't know why. We know that it wouldn't transfer onto the epoxy on the table, but for some reason it wouldn't even transfer onto the wood. So, Dad went to get some carbon paper. I reprinted this out, actually did it a little bit bigger, and then we're going to use the carbon paper transfer method and uh, get going on this thing. It's been a little frustrating. First thing we did was cover up the epoxy underneath the artwork with blue tape. That way the transfer would go through. This actually only took about 40 minutes for me and dad to trace this on here. So I think from now on, we're gonna use this method for big projects. All right guys, so we've been here six hours. We just got the layout done. Now it's time to start carving. We had to go old school back to the carbon paper, but we got that done. It's time to make some sawdust. So we're both gonna be using the profile, getting our whole outline done, which is gonna be probably 90% of the whole carving. Yeah, yeah. And we each have a printout of what exactly what it's supposed to look like. Don't uh, carve anything you don't absolutely know. So let's do it. Let's get going. Like Dad said, especially on something like this, where this is a table that Andrew put together, he bought the slab, and there's a lot of money involved in this thing. You wanna make sure of what you're carving. So we used a Sharpie and we marked all the big spots that are gonna come out. That way we don't get confused when the sawdust is flying. There are several times where we actually stopped carving. We looked at the small printout just to make sure we knew exactly what was what. On this whole project, the only bits we used were the profile bit and the 90 degree. When you're carving through epoxy, it's kind of difficult because it looks like snow is flying. So you want to make sure, take your time, definitely have an air nozzle with you and blow that stuff out of the way as much as it takes so you can see what you're doing. If you're carving over tape like this, once the carving's done, you want to make sure you get all the tape off. Otherwise, the sander is going to catch it and it just makes a mess. Then we taped around everything we were going to spray to get as little overspray as we could. Also, with this particular board, there was a lot of real small holes, so we took little tiny pieces of tape and got every hole we could find, and I think we probably still missed a few. That way, the spray does not get down in there and it stays black, especially after the epoxy pour. 
Now we were a little nervous at this point because we didn't test this board to see if it was going to bleed. Luckily it didn't and we kind of thought it wouldn't because it's hardwood, but still, should have tested it first. Now Andrew has one of those super nice fancy Festool sanders and uh, he showed me how to use it and then he kicked me out of the way and re-showed me how to use it, but eventually I think I got it down. Now Andrew did this pour in several different steps over several days, so we weren't able to get that on camera. But as you can see, this guy is a master at what he does. Alright guys, so there it is. So this is a spalted pecan table and it's five foot by 10 foot and Andrew did an amazing job on this thing. Yeah, just look at the finish on there. Now he's still got a couple little things to do on it yet, some touch up and stuff, but it just looks amazing. Andrew, he's such a master at what he does. So. Yeah, he is. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you liked it. As always, if you have any questions, you can email dad. Eric at makeawoodsign.com. Or me, Ryan at makeawoodsign.com. And, uh, and definitely check out Reclaim Secrets out of mm -hmm. Las Vegas. Not only do they make great products, they're just the best people ever. So we'll see All you right. on the next one, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.